is a magical holiday event now playing at the Tanger Outlets in Texas City. It offers a special dinner theater experience. It looks super cool. So yeah. it's called A Very Cirque Christmas Carol, and it lets you rediscover the classic tale with a unique Cirque twist. Lauren Kelly is under the big top this afternoon with more on this very interesting concept. What's up, LK? Now, Derek and Tessa, this is something that you have to actually see in person to fully grasp and comprehend. But the big top is amazing right over here at Tanger Outlets. I'm going to let Susie catch her breath from her beautiful aerial moves that she just got down from. We're going to chat with you in just a second, but I want to talk to Jonathan Ringmaster Scrooge. And I feel like I'm talking up to you, the tallest Scrooge I've it's ever seen. It's good for you, Beck. It's good for your posture. Susie will tell you. Tell me a little bit about this show because it's so unique and it's got such a great Cirque spin on the classic tale. Absolutely. This is a very Cirque Christmas Carol. And of course, this is Texas-based with an international flair. So it's founded right here. So you want to come out and support it, of course. And of course, you heard everybody's here. Ringmaster Scrooge, you're probably a little confused. Normally, I play a ringmaster, but in this show, I'm going to put on my acting chops and be my classic, uh, my favorite, honestly, Scrooge. I, I love Scrooge. Whoa, whoa, we got to watch out for you if I your favorite is Scrooge. He's my favorite. <laughs> so I get to work out my childhood fantasy, bah humbug, and I, we really get to enjoy these fabulous act Susie in the sky we have Paul Cifuentes who we'll see later with the wheel of death we have our wonderful dynamic rescue dogs who will be out here charming everybody and that's around. who we just saw the that's rescue right. dogs we right? just saw them so you're gonna have a show that is just filled to the brim with wonder and adventure of circus and of course you'll get a good meal oh so well we can't forget about the food That's here in right. Texas you'll get a good meal I mean it's <laughs> Texas so you'll eat well and you'll enjoy this fantastic show you don't have to worry about the food but somebody who does and probably shouldn't have a big meal before they perform Susie Susie in the sky we just saw you amazing job congratulations Thank that's you. fantastic yes how long have you been performing aerial arts I've been performing aerial arts for only two years, but I danced my entire life, so it sort of came a little bit naturally. How do you train for something like that? I feel like it obviously takes so much upper body and core strength. Is that really what you're, you practice every day? Definitely, and if you take too many days off, it really does go away. <laughs> I have to train a lot and lift weights and make sure I work out on the silks almost every day, if not every other day. So how, how do you practice? Do you have silks in your home? Do you go to a studio to practice this? So I trained in a couple, a few studios in Austin, and that's where I got all my training. But now I actually live on a converted bus, so I have a freestanding rig that I set up where we park, and then I put my silks up and I train on there. Look at that, you put your mind to it, and you can train on silks anywhere you're at, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> What's the best part of your act that you think you see the audience react to? Because it's such a lovely, it's a beautiful talent. Well, I'm sort of known for my really fast tornado spins. Is so that what we just saw? No, that was actually a drop. Oh. So I think those are the top two things that the audience goes nuts for. The really, really, really fast spins and the really big drops. Ha okay, I'm not going to ask you how you practice and how many times you have, like, fallen on the ground. We're just going <laughs> to pretend that you don't ever fall on the ground, right? right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Safety first. You don't want to throw any tricks that you don't know that you're fully confident with and that you have all your wraps on correctly. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you for Thank sharing you so your talent much. with us today. Thank you. We can't wait to see the show. Jonathan, come back over here. Me, uh, look you beautiful. look so beautiful. Yeah, I love your sparkle. You don't bring me flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell our Houston Life viewers, though, really fast, what kind of age range would you suggest for families who want to bring their kids out today? Children of all ages. You have to bring them out. At one to 99 years old, you're going to have a great time. This is good, clean, dynamic dynamic, high energy, fun, and entertainment. You don't want to miss it. You're going to see some fabulous artists. You're going to see a great story, and you're going to have fun and a good meal. All right, so we know where to get the tickets. The website is up. I'm going to put a link at HoustonLife.tv, but don't go anywhere. You guys, don't go anywhere, because like Jonathan said, we're going to catch Paul, and he's the daredevil, right? That's right. He is the daredevil. I love your energy. We, oh. may, we may have to bring you on the road. Hey, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> Derek and Tessa, we've got lots more from a very Start Christmas Carol under the big top here at the Tanger Outlets coming up in just a bit. It's super cool. We were just chatting about the silks. They make it look easy, and this is stuff that it, who knew humans could actually do it. It's right? so impressive. Also, LK, you're not going anywhere. Tell him you have to stay with us. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll see you in just a bit. Still.
Well, a very short Christmas carol is happening now under the big top. We are at the Tanger Outlets here in Texas City. And first of all, this is like the coolest setup for a circus I've ever seen. And did we just see a polar bear run across the stage as part of this circus? Oh, yeah, that's that's not so <laughs> tiny, Tim. He, uh, you should see his brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we get Paul down from the Wheel of Death, the daredevil, he's going to come talk to us in just a second. But Jonathan Lee Iverson's co-host, you are the ring mistress of the circus here for Christmas time. Miss Dana, please tell us about your character in the show. Absolutely. I am the ring mistress, and I'm also known as the ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> oh, the present. So first of all, I got to tell you guys, you are lo as local as can be. I love that you're homegrown right here in Houston, and you are very notorious in the community. Too. Absolutely. Um, I'm also known as Bombshell Becky from the Barbarian Bombshell Show at the Texas Renaissance Festival all season long. Which who I'm sure we just saw last month. Wonderful job there. Thank I love you. that you converted right over here to the circus. So for <laughs> a couple of our viewers who missed out on the beginning of the show, why don't you give them a little bit of a summary about what they can expect to see here? Absolutely. Well, the story follows Scrooge, which is Jonathan Lee Iverson. So normally he's out there being the ringmaster and he's He's taking a different toll where he's going to be an actor here. And as Scrooge, he's going to find his way. He's lost the magic of circus. And instead, we are going to remind him what circus is all about. So he goes to the past to explore previous circus that are really deep roots in tradition. And so we show a lot of traditional um, circuits from all across the globe. He experiences that. And through the time, he makes it to me. And I'm here in the present, you know, <laughs> as modern as I get. And um, he eventually finds his way all the way up to the future. And that's where we end up meeting Paul Cervantes. OK, right? so this is, this is a really cool show because it's like a dinner theater experience. So you're getting some delicious food mm -hmm. while you get to watch some pretty incredible acts. So there's jokers. You've got the polar bear, who's Tiny Tim, is what that's, I hear. That's, that's my polar bear. You have an aerialist. What <laughs> other kind of acts can people expect to see? Oh, goodness. We have jugglers. Um, we have an absolutely incredible juggler, uh, Tommy T. He's fantastic. We have a quick change act all the way from Chile, and they do really quick costume changes to different music. Oh, it, we saw the so rescue good. dogs, too, who are adorable. I love the poodles. Those poodles you don't want to miss. And we even let you take pictures with them when you first come in. Oh, so. they are the sweetest, and they're so them. cute, and they're sparkly outfits. But I want to mention, you're like one of two only in the nation mistresses of the circus? Uh, yeah, actually, there's only ever been um, two ring mistresses in the history of American circus. And so. the other is Britney Spears. Pierce, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a very different woman. That's no, for sure. From her circus album, is what we were referring to. <laughs> very, very different. But it is either way. Um, for me, just it's a super honor to be working with Jonathan Lee Iverson. He is literally the most incredible ringmaster I've ever seen. So you guys have some pretty incredible acts, a lot of great costumes. Of course, the dogs, can families come early and take photos yeah. with some of the staff? So um, doors open at 3.30 for the early show, and the doors open at 7.30 for the evening show. So you can't get into the tent any earlier than those times listed. Okay. But at that time, you can come in, and we do have the poodles that you can meet and take photos with. The polar bear. The polar bear, of course. The polar bear, we love when people take pictures with the polar bear. Every, after every show, he is available. Okay, <laughs> so here in the parking lot of Tanger Outlets, we're under the big top. You guys, you really can't miss it. And the details for all of the shows are at ChristmasCirc.com, correct? correct. ChristmasCirc.com. All right, so you guys are here through the 26th. Do not miss this show. This is going to be so much fun. Thank you, Mistress, for sharing your time with us today. Yeah, I'm Miss Marie King, and I cannot wait to have you here at a very Cirque Christmas. Well, she expects to see you here, as do we. So get all the info at HoustonLife.tv. Derek and Tessa, it's going to be an awesome show. I know that I'm going to be back in the audience for this real soon. It looks really cool. Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. Love all the outfits. They are dressed to the nines. Sure. Giving, yes.